I have just emerged from a four day bender of playing Tears of the Kingdom and really have been loving every second of it. The game's incredible, but it made me think of an entirely different topic. What does Nintendo do to follow this? Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm not trying to say this game isn't enough or that you should be worried about this at all, I just thought it would be an interesting topic. Tears of the Kingdom is a sequel to a game that for some is not only the best Switch game, but a Zelda game, Nintendo game, or even game in general. And possibly, in my opinion, Tears of the Kingdom is such a great game, I think it'll be hard for me to even go back and play Breath of the Wild, and that was a top 10 game of all time for me. Nintendo has created a giant sandbox where you can do whatever comes to mind, and they combined it with a series that people have grown up with and have come to adore. This game really is something special. So how do you follow it up? I mean, they already caught lightning in a bottle a second time, should they try for a third? It's hard to say. I think at the very least, this version of Hyrule should be moved on from. It was wonderful to explore in Breath of the Wild, and so far my first 20 or 30 hours in Tears of the Kingdom it has been even more of a delight and I do not see that changing, but I think a third go round would be a bit of a stretch. What I think makes the most sense as a path forward is to give a sort of palate cleanser next. The next Zelda game is not going to outshine Tears of the Kingdom. Too many dominoes had to get set up and knocked down for us to get this game. It's going to take time for another game of this stature. You know, we gotta let them cook. No, I think next up to bat is some more ports or remakes in about a year or so. Then maybe another top-down 2D Zelda game, more ports and remakes, and then in about four to five years, we start hearing about the next big 3D game. So for ports, what could we expect? Well, for starters, the only 3D Zelda games not playable on the Switch are the long-rumored Wind Waker and Twilight Princess games, which probably makes the most sense in the short term. Those games are a known quantity and shouldn't be all that much of a hassle to get ready and put out when needed. Now, that isn't an all super special or unique idea, but I think the ideas for possible remakes and the new 2D Zelda game is a more interesting conversation. My first game ever was The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages in the Game Boy Color, and it came out alongside Oracle of Seasons. These two games are great, underappreciated Zelda titles that look and play a lot like Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. The games have some story tie-ins with each other and compatibility through a password system allowing someone with both games to experience the true ending and final boss. Now this is pretty common knowledge, but there was also a never released third game that would have gone great with the Oracle games. The original pitch would be to have one game for each piece of the Triforce, power, wisdom, and courage, and an associated character, the Oracle, to go along with it. So Seasons ended up with getting Din, associated with power, Aegis got Nehru, Wisdom, and this planned third game would have had Feror, Courage. So to kind of get back to the thread of this video, because I know I got a little off topic, I would love to see a Link's Awakening remake look version of Oracle of Ages and Seasons, followed by a brand new 2D Zelda game being this third game that never came out way back when. That all being said, I think the critical and commercial success of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom has set the Zelda series path forward, at least for 3D games. The next big expensive 3D Zelda is probably going to have the same freedom and physics systems as these two. In the same way Ocarina set the path forward for the games that followed it with Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild has breathed fresh air into the series and I think they're going to chase that. In a recent interview with Game Informer, when asked about Ocarina laying the groundwork for the era of Zelda games and if Breath of the Wild is similar, series producer Eiji Aonuma responded with, With Ocarina of Time, I think it's correct to say that it did kind of create a format for a number of titles in the franchise that came after it, but in some ways that was a little bit restricting for us. While we always aimed to give the player freedoms of certain kinds, there were certain things that format didn't really afford in giving people freedom. Of course, the series continued to evolve after Ocarina of Time, but I think it's also fair to say that now we've arrived at Breath of the Wild and the new type of more open play and freedom that it affords. Yeah, I think it's correct to say that it has created a new kind of format for the series to proceed from. So yeah, I think it's safe to assume we'll get another free open air Zelda game as the next big 3D entry, probably in 2030 or so. But yeah, the good news is Tears of the Kingdom is out, it is great, and I'm sure we'll be discovering new things about it for the next decade anyhow. Thanks for watching.